Hello everyone, a little bit festive because winter is coming, hats, sweaters, in a while will be something for us that we wear. But the first thing that we can wear is definitely our socks. Therefore, I have a new pair that I finished and at the same time, they are my new pattern. down below I'm going to put all the links uh, including code some website I can do sales on the some I can't so check it out my lovely winter trees which kind of are festive there is some snow going on stars going on and then I presume it will be for everyone to knit if your winter is coming how are they knitted let me tell you quickly there are toe-up socks with afterthought heel and the heel is where you snip the yarn. If you have never done that and you would want to see, I'll put a link over here to the tutorial. But in the pattern there's also links to tutorials um, and we're starting from the toes, going up, knitting a big tube, ending end to do this beautiful color work, double-stranded color work. And there is a chart for this and there is a chart for uh, this section. And once you finish, we're ending up with afterthought heel. The sizes, we have four sizes. Let me tell you in regard to stitches. So if you knit it, you will know what size you will want to knit. And um, these are fingering weight socks. So we have 48 stitches, 56 stitches, 64 stitches or 72 stitches. And this sample is 56 stitches. However, I could knit uh, these socks using 48 stitches with DK weight yarn with different knitting needles, which um, here I use US size 1, 2.25 millimeters, and for that US size 2, 2.75 millimeter knitting needles. I think they are so cute. Let me tell you the gauge. So it's 32 stitches per 40 rounds, just in case you're wondering about that. But like I said, if you knitted socks before, you know your number and you know what kind of yarn you're using to achieve a nice fit for your foot the way you like it. Some people like uh, with more negative ease than myself, some less, uh, so find your fit. Let me quickly show you yarn that I used and I'm going to show you also a sneak peek of the socks that I knitted for a giveaway. Well, I'm finishing, I haven't finished yet. The yarn over here, I had 50 grams over here of this Drops Blue 103, Drops Fable. And I still have some bit leftovers. I think I wrote down um, that I use 40 grams for these socks. The dark blue, I use Knit Picks, Stroll Navy, and the color is 23694, just in case you are wondering. And then background color, I think it's maybe second sock that, socks that I'm knitting, is this. Well, I thought I have it in this bag, but I don't but I also use it over here and it is um, yarn that I got in a sock crate from Knit Crate. So check my unboxings, there are some of them there and I'm almost finishing another pair. So I use in this case just uh, leftovers which have pattern in them so I don't have to play and I just use the chart for the final bit. But these are going to be for my lovely members a level one hopefully soon and as you can see I'm finishing heel and what I need to do, I need to do a kitchener stitch over here and, and that be that. So I'm quite happy about it. Just saying, pity that I don't have this yarn, but close up, you can see some pink elements and this gives kind of depth in the socks that you're knitting. If you're using, like me over here, two uh, neutral colors, like there's, they're plain, if I say it right, uh, tonal, I think, colors. I think tonals have tonals in them. This is just unicolor. So one color, um, and I wanted to just have a little bit uh, depth in them. That's why I picked this lovely background. And you can see it's also here for the whole white part. Hope I haven't forgot about anything. Let me know down below if you have any questions. I hope you enjoyed this one. Till the next one. Bye.